Good afternoon, everyone. Today, for our in vivo session, we will be looking at how you can uh, rearrange your code or your node once you create them in in vivo. That will help you with your projects. Now, if you look at the screen, you have here a list of code for a smoking project. Uh, it's a fake list of codes. When you look at those codes, you see from uh, COPD uh, being on post all day and so on and so forth, all the way to driving. Now, as I coded those from the from two transcripts here, I cannot leave them on a list like that because this was the preliminary work. As you code in qualitative studies, you don't worry about the amount, the number of codes you're making or you're creating. You just, as you read the your interviews, if you're doing some inductive, um, if you are reading and then to come up with those codes, as you read, you add those codes, you create them. Don't worry about the amount. When you finish, you want to organize your codes. That's one way you can do it. Or also, as you are reading, if you find a code that can be grouped or can go under another code, we'll see an example shortly, you can do that too. But suppose you have a list of code like this, and now you, as you go through your codes, I'm gonna give an example. You see here where they talked about uh, IC emphysema, cancer, COPD. I know as I was going through the interviews, those diseases and conditions, they were health effects of smoking based on the participants' perceptions. Participants believe that smoking can create those health effects. Well, whether they are accurate or not, you just capture what they feel, what they think, what they report. Now, I want to put COPD, cancer, emphysema under health effects because as I want to group them to make, them, to make it shorter, to make my list shorter and to come up with the tree that I want to create, I'm going to group them under COP, under all health effects. So one way, you, one way you do that, there are many other ways you can do it. I'm going to use two methods to do that today so you can get an idea. I highlight health effects, click on the little circle next to health effects, that's once. Uh, I can, this is what I'm going to use as my main code. First, I know I'm going to do COPD. I can highlight COPD here. I highlight it the first time and then I come back to it, click and drag. I drag it into health effects. Once I let go of my, of my mouse, you will see COPD move out of here and it gets inside health effects. If I click on my plus button here, I see COPD as one of the health effects. And you all know COPD, what is it? What it is, it's chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. This is a condition people develop over time as a result of smoking. So long-term smoking can lead to uh, this uh, chronic disease. Now, I want to put also uh, cancer as health effects, the participants reported. So I can do two, I, I'm not gonna do the drag for you because I've already demonstrated it on COPD now. I'm going to do the other methods. I can highlight cancer, copy, you see, let me start over. I highlight cancer, I right click. I don't know for Mac what you do for right click, but those Mac users, you know what you do for right click. I just right click and then click copy. Then I go to health effects, highlight it, right click and then paste. And if I click on the plus next to health effects, look at that. 
I have COPD and cancer. Now, I have two cancers, one under health effects and the first one that was there before. So once I put it here, I don't need this one. I can highlight, right click and delete. It will ask me, are you sure you want to delete it? Yes. And boom, it's gone. That's how you group codes <clears throat> or nodes that uh, resembles the key points you are looking for. I noticed also emphysema was reported as a health effect. I can do this. H highlight and drag under health effects. It will fall here. Or I could have done copy paste and delete as my uh, possible health effects. That's one way you group codes because in some assignments you will be asked. Actually, the, in your analysis, part of it include grouping your codes uh, in themes that look like that fits what you want to do. Like now I have my theme here. The theme I created is health effects. And then under health effects, I have a series of code. When I'm done with it, I'm going to write a paragraph on health effects that the participants believe you get from smoking. You write a nice paragraph and that's part of your qualitative uh, analysis. Okay. On one example I wanted to take to do with you, this is a first level hierarchy. I want to get a, another level. Suppose you want to look at, let's say, feeling about smoking. As I was reading the transcripts, I noticed that for feelings about smoking, some people talk about positive feelings. Others had negative feelings about uh, smoking. What I can do, I can create two subgroups under, under feelings about smoking. The first group would be positive feelings and the second group would be negative feelings. How do I do that? This is feeling about smoking. I can just right click. Look at that. I right click and then I click new code. When I do that, I know I needed positive feelings. I'm going to type positive feelings. Just say positive. I know it's about feelings. And then hit OK. Right now, I have positive I, as one group. I go to the main file again, main code, right click, new code, and I'm going to put now this time negative. I know it's negative feeling. Now, I have both feelings about smoking. They will be positive. They will be negative. Suppose you said, mm, I don't like the way it's written. I want to put it a different way. I want to put it all caps. You can just click on any co on the code you want. You right click. This window comes up and you click on node properties. It comes up with a new windows where I can change my, my, my word. I can say, okay, I want all cap. Pause. Positive. That's my positive. Hit OK. You see it changed. If I do it for positive, let's do it for negative also. Uh, sorry, let's cancel. That's not what I want to do this and node negative and hit OK. So I have two types of feelings about smoking, positive feelings, negative feelings. Now I got to put nodes under those. What are the positive feelings people mention about? Well, I while I was reading, if if some positive feelings, I did not have them there, let me take one example. Suppose they say, one person said positive feeling about smoking was a way to decompress, but I did not capture it first, but I just read here. I found a paragraph that describes someone's positive feeling about smoking as a way to decompress. So I can go here, click on smoking. Sorry, that's not what I need. I click on positive and then right click, new node, and I know that one was based on the paragraph. It was a, a ways to decompress. That's a positive feeling. The person decides, hey, he, the person said that. I just put it down. Ways to decompress. Uh, that's one positive about smoking. 
and then I put it here. Here now, look at that. I have the main theme is is feelings about smoking, positive feelings about smoking. That the second rank and the third rank is exactly what that feeling is. And I might say, okay, I know there were other positive feelings about smoking. Coping was one of them. I know I had put coping. Here it is here. I can do what I told you earlier. I can drag and put up there or I can write, right click on it, copy and move it under positive, click paste. Now I have copying or uh, coping, sorry, coping way to depress, to decompress as positive feelings they said about smoking. Now, once I'm done, I know it's up there. I can come here, delete it because I don't need it here anymore. Uh, let me do two more. Now, negative feelings about smoking. Negative feeling about smoking, I think in that study was uh, disease risk was a negative feeling that people mention about smoking. The same thing, I click on disease risk since I already have it here. And move away, click back on that button, hold and drag to negative feeling about smoking and look at that. It falls under two types of feelings, positive feelings, negative feelings. Positive feelings, I have coping, ways to decompress, negative feeling, disease risk. There was another negative feeling they had expressed. I think it was guilt. I know they had expressed guilt as negative feeling about smoking. I click on guilt and I can drag it now. Don't know if it will, yep. As a negative, fall it here. At least I have put together for you two positive feelings and two negative feelings about smoking. And I have health effects, three of them. There are more but it's just for demonstration's sake. Now, when I finish all this, your codes will look shorter because you group some, and uh, you have what we call here a code tree. This is how you create a code tree in NVivo. When you're presenting it, I click here, health effects, or I click feelings about smoking. I have negative feelings, positive feelings. That's how you organize your codes into different themes. You group them. Now, suppose you add a third transcript. And then as you code the, that transcript, I found, imagine this is a third transcript. It was not part of the two. And I read here, I find this as a negative feeling about smoking. I can just drag this under guilt because I already know it talks about guilt. And I add it here and look at that. It increases the number of reference. I already had the code. So the advantage is as you code, you have your first sets of codes. You add transcript, you code the transcript, you keep adding, you keep adding. If your, inter if your study had 10 interviews, you start with the first, you did your, your, your exercise, and then you keep adding code, rearrange code. As you go, you can rearrange. If for some reason I don't like, let me put a third one so I can delete it later to show you. Uh, suppose I was looking at um, a stress reliever. Let's say, imagine this one was a positive feeling about smoking. That person said, yeah, it's a stress reliever. I move it to positive feeling about smoking as a stress reliever. And then I realized, man, I made a mistake. That's not where it belongs. It should have been a negative feeling about, sorry. Suppose I put this, I remove stress reliever, sorry. And I move it so you can make my, so you can get my point. Uh, stress reliever and I want to move it to positive feelings about smoking but instead I put it under negative feelings about smoking either I was tired or I was not paying attention but after I read my codes again I said hmm, this doesn't belong there 
because my grouping doesn't make sense. I could do two things. I can highlight here, drag it back to the right place on positive, or if it, if it turns out that um, I don't need it there at all, I can just right click and delete. It would, I will ask me, do you want to delete it? I said yes, but I'm not going to say yes now. I want to just move it now to the right spot. I can drag and move it to positive feelings about smoking. So you see, I can rearrange my code any way I want. I could have a fourth level of hierarchy. I could have ways to decompress, uh, strong ways, weak ways. I uh, group them again. Now, uh, what I would like you to do is... Uh, Try on your own to rearrange your codes into themes and group of codes, as we have shown you here. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, please uh, send them to me and let me know. Thank you very much.